Hello, my little wildcats. My name is Puma Cat, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, last time we left off, um, last time we left off, we finished everyone's poems, and I really liked them. They were all, um, they were all very good. I really liked, um, Monica's and Yuri's, and, and Sayori's too, and Natsuki. I liked everyone's poems. Phew. Yes, that was everyone. We glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is the literature club after all. I sigh. <laughs> Guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. I cross the room, so Yuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. My favorite and my least favorite Doki. <laughs> wow. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective palms. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What the language? Hmm? Um, did you say something? That that's a mix of Yuri's and Monica's words. Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. Yes, you can say it's fancy. Oh, she likes simple words. Oh, she likes simple words. <laughs> she likes simple poems. Well, we're Yuri like sophisticated stuff. Yeah. Um, last episode, um, um, Natsuki said that she really did not like it when uh, people use like the sophisticated language. Oh, thanks. Yours is... Cute. You! Did you completely miss the symbolism something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come and ask that at all. That's not what I said. <laughs> Uh, it's a long day. It's been a long day. Thanks, but it really did not come night at all. <clears throat> Try again. <laughs> Third take. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> it was, if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So Yori liked it, and Puma liked it too. So based on that, I would gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spend a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course there comes something across particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Puma liked my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Now it's like he suddenly stands up. Uh oh, the music's gone. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to bless our new member, Yuri! Eh? Uh, that, that's not what I. Uh, you, you just. Yuri stands up as well. I feel the urge that I'm gonna stand up too. Um. Maybe you're just jealous that Puma appreciates my voice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, that's. How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would have go deliberately out of my way to make everything I do overly juicy. That's not Yuri's voice. <laughs> uh -huh. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size of fish. Puma started chilling. <laughs> I'm sorry. No more argument. No more argument. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta stand up too, I'm feeling mad. Alright, camera angle good? Okay. I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size as soon as Puma started showing up. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! We're only playing, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Puma? She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she 
she couldn't get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this would have happened in the first place. That's the point of making her unconvoluted for no reason. That's not what I said. <laughs> the meeting should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Puma. W wait. There's a reason why there's so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning to the, mo the most effectively. Avoid them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Puma? Um... Well... How did I get dragged here in the first place? It's not like I could know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Are you really saying this right now? So if we're just gonna be... Okay. I think the camera did not catch me there at all. Uh, I'm gonna sit down now. Okay, so... Um... Well, they're gonna appreciate me more. Of course I'm out for a Yuri. But then... Then Natsuki will be a little more upset at me than she has to. Is that camera lower? I'm sorry. Um. Uh, Sakura is gonna be. Uh, <laughs> Help me, Sayori. Natsuki. Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had left in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri. <laughs> but Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> y yeah. Everyone's fighting me because you're very uncomfortable. So how could the two of you be fighting when your friend feels like this? Come on. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. This is about me. Because I'm too big of a persona to be ignored. Uh, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori tells Yuri she's a suck up jerk she's being. She would never... It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself right now? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes this. Ah, Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. You're crying, you're crying. See what you guys did to her, what you guys did to her. I'm gonna be dead. Except for you, Yuri. I love you. Now, it's key. We're, we're gonna talk after this. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's calm. They're amazing because they give so many feelings with just a few words. Yuri's poems are also amazing because they play beautiful pictures in her head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? But because... Oh. Also, not to be cute, and there's nothing wrong with that. Mary's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Yes, big and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the flat chested Natsuki is pretty mad right now. Sorry. So he stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Oh, who makes him tea? Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a brink expression on her face, staring at nothing. Whoa. Uh, no. Whoa. I clicked auto. There's an auto option. <laughs> now I know that. So this is why Sayori's vice president whispered to Monica. <laughs> she nods in return. To be honest, I might have come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As a person, that's kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just makes the yours and everything the wrong way, isn't she? You could say that. She might be in her head, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. I could care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. No, me too. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smells sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. You're not supposed to be looking at her. Yuri, okay, Yuri. Waifu boobs, okay? 
such a genuine person who really does make a good precedent regardless of what she says. If only I could get the chance to talk to her a little more. Yeah, I've noticed when I was writing the poem, there was no like Monica character. So like, could I spend more time with her possibly? Something. Okay, everyone. Just about time for us to leave. How do you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Puma, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk out with ev- about talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Not more fighting. <laughs> and maybe we we'll learn something from your friends too. So your plans will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the t- the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, this means I can do at least a better job impressing those who I want to impress. Oh right, we still want to get a white coat. Um, and not to myself with newfound determination. Puma, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It's truly been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. So you're before that. I need to talk to Natsuki. She she hurt my best friend. Here, I'm gonna pull out a knife on her. This is a butter knife. <laughs> but I will not. And I say I'm very experienced with it. And I will not hesitate to throw it at you like Monica's ninja star. <laughs> so Natsuki, beware! <laughs> I'm armed. Uh, I just wanted to show off my knife throwing skills. <laughs> Theory. But what happened earlier? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise you're both wonderful people. You don't need them, do you? My feet are clipping through the ground. No, no, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd m- make good friends with you. Yeah. No, Puma. Kind of nice that I spent a lot of time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone's what makes me the happiest. Aww. And I think everyone likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day's gonna be so much fun. It looks like Siri still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone's nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? Well, I'll have to see what the future holds, Sayori. Pat Sayori on the shoulder. Pat. I say that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Hey, that's not very nice. Okay, my feet aren't clipping through the ground anymore. Yeah, let's do this. More poems! Um, I don't think I can make a quick one in like a minute. Let's go, let's go. Um, okay, so I've impressed Yuri. I wanna save Natsuki for last. Not best for last, but worst for last. So I wanna try getting Sayori. Um, so, yeah, death. Sure, (laughs) that sounds great. Uh, childhood. Yes. Um, peace, cause she likes peace. No, never mind. Um, I might have to retry this, but I don't know. Um. Hmm. Charm. Yes. Okay. Um. Not perfect. Not perfect. Burn the sun. Sucks. Don't be like, just say dumb. Hmm. Let's see. I'm just gonna play right here. I guess I know something. Um. Hmm. Oops. Yes, I don't know why we did that. Um. Hmm. Well, this is probably gonna be something else. Okay. Hmm. Skipping. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, special. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> um, I'm probably gonna cut a lot of this out because I'm gonna be thinking about Yeah. 
Yes. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've been sort of thinking a bit. So yeah, uh, we're way over the time limit. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. Uh, it's our third day. So yeah, everyone, expect a new video in two days. Bye, my little wildcats.